apparently that's how you farm. And boing, 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 boing. That's how you farm. That's why my gardens never grow that well. Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, bringing you a brand new game to the channel, Kingdoms and Castles. This is a game I've been watching Veba Gaming play on his channel for the last two or three months. It's, it's been a while. Um, we both bought the game, he bought the alpha, and I mistakenly bought the beta. I was kind of disappointed about that at first, but I was I knew I was going to be taking some time off of the channel and, and didn't know when the alpha was going to come out, so it's, it turned out to work better that I got the beta. Because if I had gotten the alpha, I'd be just as far behind as I was back then. So I got to watch him play it and have a clue what I'm doing now, thankfully. I'm leaving this screen up here so you guys can see the changes that have happened since his last episode. And how the beta's come out. And I believe one or two patches. So we're at beta 1.1 at least, if not a little bit beyond. By the time I finally got got uh, around to, to recording this, had a busy weekend. Um... Beyond Alpha 5, we have got uh, one request here that uh, Vapa had made, that the happiness radius of the tavern, tavern be increased. That uh, It just felt like it was taking too many taverns to, to make these people happy. Um, foresters can no longer be stacked next to each other to all wrap around the same tree. Um, the market and food issue has been rebalanced, so I should, uh, I should be... A, Something that's uh, going to run a little bit better this time. A uh, new thing for the beta is that the archers and ballasteers have to be paid. It's something for you to use your gold on. So you run out of gold, you run out of wages, you run out of archers. So you got to keep, keep up on that. Otherwise, let's dive into this. New game. Oh, back up. Can I? 1.03. There we go. So three patches since is, is my guess here. New. We're going to go with the easy one. Hard is not available yet. And let's go through maps. So I want to get something that's got a good landmass in the middle. Good combination of 3x3 three three grids with uh, green around them. Preferably some dark green. Um... This one will work really good right there. I'm not going to use this map, but here's a good example of at least five dark green ones in a square. Middle one is your is your mill, so that one's a loss. There's another good one right there. But <clears throat> for this new this first map, I think I'd like to have less water, more land, so we can kind of uh, make it a little bit easier to really experiment with it and figure out how this works. So let's move on a little further. Something that is mostly land mass. I'm afraid to hit my WASD because I think S acts as an enter and actually accepts it. So I want to, it acts as this check mark over here. So I'm just going to do this manually. Moving through, boy, everything has got water. Got to be something there that comes up. I was going to do this ahead of time, but then I wouldn't have had that screen you just saw with all the changes between Alpha 5 and Beta 1. So maybe this is our answer. Let's take a look at this one. So we've got a good place in here for the keep and some housing. There is a 3x3 for farms. There's several over in this area. I'm not seeing any good examples of dark green, though maybe we have something right in here under the trees. Got, well, got this right here. There's a good one. What else do we have? We may have something over in this area. Dark green under these trees. Don't see much. So we're kind of in this area for... For farming. Now, where are we for stone? Good stone over here. Stone there and there. And there. If we threw a keep in here and built this direction for, for resources and this direction for housing, that might work out pretty well. Yeah, I kind of like that. We have a space for an orchard here, but nothing for dependable farming. So I think this will be this will be our our, our city center and resources and, and uh, services, resources out in this area, farming. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Let's go with this one. Except, and we'll go with the red, the red lion. And if you had paid some of the upper level backers 
at uh, fig.com when they came up with this, or fig.co it actually is. You could have had your banner, I believe, in the game is how that works. Though I'm not sure if the banners have been implemented yet. But I would imagine that uh, other banners would be here if it has. Giving it a name, let's go with this one for now. I found that certain letters that you type actually become the accept and it just kind of doesn't work. So we'll put that in afterwards. So let's accept this one. Go for it and we'll hit the pause, which I have found is the tilde. So one, two, three are your speeds or you've got them down here in the corner of the map as well. But we're gonna drop into weather into winter faster than I'm ready and I want a chance to really look this map over. Center mouse and right mouse will rotate you around and lift and, and uh, drop. And left mouse will go side to side as well as WASD side to side. QE rotates you. So I'm used to using the WASD, so I'll be popping around like this and then clicking the mouse to, to rotate. Um, we are paused, right? We are. The clouds continue to generate. Oh, I see. They're not generating. They're just... Well, they kind of are. You know, they're doing their little movie things. I see. They're not really generating. They're just, they're there, and unless you move toward them, then they, they break down. Okay. So we need to put the keep in, and we need to name it. Now, something I'm doing new for my channel is I've got the Patreon page kind of, kind of all grown up. It was just uh, sitting there stalled for the longest time in case someone just felt the urge to go and pop some funding into there. But what I'm finding is that... Uh, trying to run YouTube and run my business is is not working out that well. So if I get some funding coming in through Patreon, then I can afford to put more hours into YouTube and less into uh, taking breaks from YouTube to keep the business going. So I'm going to give the Patreon page a, a good honest try. And one of the benefits over there is going to be getting your name into a game. So what I'll be doing from here on out is using Patreons or patrons first and then moving into subscribers. So this first town is going to be named after Handy. And I'm trying to figure out a good name to work with that. Handy Dale, Handyton, Handyburg. What else do we have? Handyville, Handyshire. Handyshire. I kind of like that. Let's go with that. That take? That took. Yeah, I like that. Hit enter and we're in. So we are now the town of the king has decreed that Riverdale shall henceforth be known as Handyshire. All right. I like that. We need a keep. Just like Stronghold. Have you ever played the old Stronghold games? You start off with your keep. You place the keep and then you place the granary. Or as they would say, Sire, please place your granary. But let's see where. Where, where, where? Be nice to be near. I thought that was stone. It is not. Let me right click, pop out of there. So we've got, what do we have here? Is that iron? Black I would have thought was iron, but brown is like rust. So that's probably iron there. I wonder what the black is. We've only got industry quarry for stone, iron. Mason must work with stone. Blacksmith must work with iron. Charcoal comes from wood. So I don't see a third resource yet that reflects whatever the, the the darker stone color is. So maybe that's something that is yet to come. But um, I would think granite or something. But uh, yeah, we've got our, our stone over here. And then we've got stone. Three of them over here. Actually, good source of resources over here. So maybe we will clear this area out to see what uh, what's underneath. And see if that's where our first farm... Uh, setup is going to be. I'm thinking stone over here. So let's plop the keep kind of in this area. We have good agriculture over here too. And here. But I want to see what these greens reveal first. And if it doesn't do what I think it's going to do, then we'll head out over here for our farms. Or that'll be our second layer of farms. First one over here. Yeah, we'll see. Keep is our first source. Our first, uh, first building to drop. R does spin us around. So it looks like we have our front door here. And also I noticed that R backs us up. So hold R and we zoom out. Don't know what zooms us back in. I'm afraid to push any buttons or I'll drop the keep. Oh, and I, I see. I can't 
zoom back in with my, my mouse wheel either. So we're stuck out here. Okay. So the mouse wheel also rotates. So is this good? I think it's good. You're going right there. And also before I get going, because it could drop snow on me and, and I'll lose all of my, my little textures here, let's go ahead and drop the first of our, of our stuffs. First one will be roads. We'll start there. Let's head off in this direction down this pathway of, let me back out of this so I can zoom in, of non-fertile land. It's a great place to put your roads. So town, roads, and front door was kind of there. I guess we have no choice. We've got to start in there in order to grow out of it with our roads. So we'll send that down into here and then we'll chop these trees out. So let's get this guy chopping. There we are, chop. And I guess he's part of that one. Now we know we we know we want to take out what? That cluster doesn't work. That doesn't work. So it's this group right here if it's gonna happen. So let's take these guys out. Little squishy noises here. And I hit the wrong one. Let's there we go. No, not cancel. Cancel looks a lot like chop when you're not paying attention. Chop, chop, and one more. And what pathway do we want to take into there? I'm thinking right here. Let's take... Where are you? There are trees here. How do I get those trees? Interesting. So apparently that chop is going to wipe out both? Sure looks like it's in... It's right in the corner. Maybe they got to grow a little more before they snag... A, or else they're somehow associated with that. We'll chop that one out anyway. All right, let's get this going. And space bar doesn't do me any good. Let's hit two. I normally run games on slow speed and just take my time, but this one probably feels best right in the middle. Speed two. A lot of people without houses. We've got our advisors over here. We're a quiet hamlet. Just notice that. So we are officially a quiet hamlet. Um, once your wow, unpopulated land has become. Oh, okay. So that was quite the light. Advisors. Wow. It is storming. We've got our agriculture advisor saying, Good day, sire. We'll need farms first to feed our workers. Yep. City advisor. Hmm. Let us begin growing our kingdom with some roads, then houses. Yep. Hmm. And then, good day. All right. Out of there. We're taking out the trees. Houses. Let's see here. Oh, I was just thinking about something. Something I would love to see available in the game is the ability to make a an unfertile tile fertile. Some way to to deal with that. Some building that uh, gives you a, an occupation that goes through and works the soil. That might be kind of fun to take an almost perfect plot and fine tune it. Housing goes where now that we can't see the ground? Town. We're gonna go in with hovels. Hovels first. Castle's gonna grow through this area. None of these are going to work for farms, so let's go ahead and we'll just drop, say, three of them in there. We'll get that going. These guys are coming down, and we have a dead spot in there. Darn. Though we could go right here. You chop, you chop. There we go. Granary right there. And looks like if I'm seeing it right, one, two, three, at least four dark greens. Maybe five. Can we peek under there? No, another dead spot. Darn. So we don't have a nine by or three or three in there anywhere, do we? We do further down. Now that's a dead spot there. Over here. All right, we'll take a few more. We could use the wood anyway. Let's peek into here. If this doesn't work, then we will head off into that direction. We'll let them chop out a few more. We got the houses. At least one built. Ten beds are available now. Five more will show up soon. Maybe. Maybe not. Only fifty happiness. So, in the old Stronghold games, 50 was your, your, uh, your balance point. Anything above 50, and people would come to the, the kingdom. And the, the further above 50, the faster they would come. Anything below 50, they start leaving your kingdom. So, get too far below, and they leave quickly. This doesn't seem to work that way. 70 to 75 seems to be more of a trending towards 68. That's interesting. I didn't see that pop up with Vapus games. But 70 to 75 seems to be your, your balance point. 
that I've discovered. This is looking pretty good. Are you set to chop your nut? I think this is our first farm. So let's send... Can we get into there? Let's chop you out. Let's chop you out. Let's send a road. Actually, send a road this way. I kind of like that. Let's town road into here while we can still see. Too far away... Ah, I missed a square. Okay. Heading in that direction. Don't need to touch it yet. Well, actually I do if I want to get the farms in there. And then food farms. i got to right-click to get out of that. Food farms. Okay. So, yeah. This group right here gives me three good fertile tiles. Let's do one, two, three. We will... Wow. That turns white fast. I was playing on slow speed for a while on my own and it took its time so middle speed is a little faster than I was I gotten used to um advisors what mm. you got for me our food short stores are running low perhaps more farms could help whoa three out of 50 I didn't realize it went that quickly again I was playing at slow speed so we're gonna have a little bit of a of a hunger strike going on here for a while um could use a place to store it that's closer and we've got dead tiles over here so i'd say that's a, actually dead tiles over here too where the road's going to go i think right there is a good place so let's i'm thinking here granary takes stone it does so we're stuck with that for a while we've got plenty of people which is why we have so little food aha let's get stone at least thought about here let's see here off to the side, now well, this whole area is going to be used. It doesn't matter if I use fertile or not. Four people have visited, four have found it found a satisfactory. That's interesting. Something just zoomed down on me. D? No. I accidentally hit the wrong ones. F. R and F. Ah. There's your zooms. E and Q. And then W A S D. Ah. Okay. So if you're dealing with those, like R rotates, but it also zooms interesting okay uh peek into here hmm. real quick because our food is crashing improve conditions make sure they have enough to eat hmm. and running low yep cannot put in a granary we're gonna grow here it comes zoom in here wow that moves fast <laughs> we've got to balance the uh, the speed of the zoom and and the speed of the rotate a little bit or at least give some way to slow it down manually through the settings. But apparently, that's how you farm. And boing, 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 boing. That's how you farm. That's why my gardens never grow that well. Um, so they're going to take care of some food. We are at zero. We're probably going to be eating every last bit of what comes into there. We have lots of labor. Let's put in a couple more farms just yet. And then we'll get the quarries going. So we get a little cushion out over in this area. Castle, no. Food, farm. Let's go for these two as well. We'll store them in a little while, but let's get some rock coming in so that we can build granaries. Industry. Quarry. Too far away. Town. Nope. Right click. Town. Road. Need to build out in this direction. Any other stone to choose from? Unfortunately, I cannot see what this is. It was just these, right? Oh, wait a minute. Are you stone? You're stone. Okay, let's go that direction. Town road. Let's do that. And industry and quarry. Right there. And we'll pop a second one in there. I have found that you go through stone really fast. And they're going to yell at us about food. I'm pretty sure of that. More food is coming in. More than they're going to have time to store because it's such a long distance away. But at least we got it it, uh, it going and they're going to fill their houses up with it. In fact, they're doing it right now. So, what have you got for me? Agriculture hmm. says, we're starving. City hmm. says, try examining a house to see how to improve the peasants' conditions. So, kind of a tutorial out of the advisors. Kind of a good way to do a tutorial. Um, right there. No charcoal. Too far away or none available road access they like they like having neighbors um food and pantry six out of seven so they're happy at this point houses are filling up kind of like banished where they they fill their houses up with supplies uh they want well access so do i fires 
are a thing. Town, I need stone. Yeah, we need to get this guy going. So, could use a place to store that, but storage takes stone too, doesn't it? Stockpile does. We have a couple of stones available, so we'll drop that one in there. Small granary. We're in. And it grew a tree in my way, didn't it? Err. I might send a road this direction. Might. So let's take that tree out. And we're going to need a place to actually chop trees. Good green areas right here. I'm thinking our forester is going to be in this area. Someone chop that down. No idle workers. Okay, let's shut down the quarries temporarily. Shut these guys down. They're all going to find other assignments. And we're going to turn them back on again. When they're done with those assignments, they're going to immediately come back to work. That way you don't forget about it. So meanwhile, this is being chopped. A little trick I learned. So we'll check the advisors real quick. Hmm. Yeah, they're a little worried about food still. They hmm. rarely tell you anything new, but every once in a while, they cue you in. Like reminding you that you need a well. Um... We're fine there. The well can be done now, can it? Yeah, 17. Town, well. So let's think about this. Let's actually do several. This area, I'm going to pause. Can I? Yeah. Before it turns white on me. Not going to do anything in this area as far as future farms. Probably will out in here. Maybe out in here. In fact, there's a good one right there. So, not there. So we can well in this area just fine. Town, well. Just trying to decide where all the housing is going to end up. If we got the the town center, or the, what do you call that thing? Town, right here, the town square. Possibly out in this area. Then both of these could be housing. Okay. That's right, edge scrolling. That catches me off guard once in a while, too. Though it's hard to do the site because I have a monitor over there. It's hard to hit that exact little spot without going off the screen. Anyway, I was doing wells. Town well, so I don't want to kill this whole area. Let's, let's do that. That should cover anything that's going to be in this area. And that's my only one, huh? Let's get uh, this game up and running again. Two? Yeah, two. Town well requires ten stone. So we've got stone working again. More storms. We're about to burn down, of course, because the well's not in yet. There's a stone. How best? Don't have any infertile, but infertile doesn't matter over here. I think over there, and I'm thinking we want out in this area as well. Exactly where that is. Granary, that could be road. Let's go there. Nope, I didn't have it clicked. Granary takes what? Five? Food? Right there. Takes five stone. Let's get that in. And I cannot rotate, can I? Oh, I can. Let's find that front door. I think that'll work. Right there. And before I forget about it, let's go ahead and do that road. At least a couple of them that way. A couple that way. All right, as a placeholder, so I don't pop something else into there. So did that? That did not. Well, we're waiting for ten more stone. We get one more well going, then we can not worry about fires for a while. You are going to tell us the same things, right? Worried about? Uh, oh, some of it was ruined in the winter. Okay, because we don't have the granary. That's fine. Mm -hmm. And try building nice large houses. Better life for peasants. And other things the peasants might enjoy. Yep, we're getting there. Need stone, though. Ten stone. All right, one more well. Town. Got to get the basics done first. The thought was to go into here with a well. Does that still work? I think it does. All right. Wells are in. Stone is coming in. We do need wood coming in reliably. So let's see here. We're best. Wood comes out of the forest, and it requires some good agricultural land, just like the uh, farms. I'm kind of missing what's happening over here. 
So we're 15 out of 15. Visited. Okay. So let's use this as our forestry area. At least one of them. Another one, maybe in here. When the when the uh, uh, snow goes away, we'll take another peek in here. Do we have yet another farming zone? Not really. That's a no. Now all of these are no's. Okay, so yep, yeah, this will be farm or uh, forest industry. Forester. Where to precisely? Yep, I think it's good. Do we need a road to it? Don't really have to. They walk a little faster, but it's not absolutely critical that they walk fast on every single square. I'm gonna leave. Let's pop a road. Well, I might want a house right there. And there. Let's pop a road right into there, because this is barren land. We cannot grow a tree on there anyway. But this one we can. So let's let them grow trees there. So town, road, just right there. Alright. Now I can already imagine Vapa's first comment to me, because I, I spent an awful lot of time telling him that he needs to have idle workers. And I see now how it is so easy just to keep expanding and adding and not realizing that uh, you've got nobody to do the work so uh, we got plenty of food we're at least maintaining the food we're going to be able to store the food here real well too so let's think about some larger houses um though we've got a lot of building going on which means they're not going to get to it for quite a while interesting let's put another hovel in instead and then later we'll replace these four with the the uh, cottages, but let's five wood. Ah, let's chop some trees down. That's what's holding us up right now. Where to exactly? Don't really need these trees, so let's take them out. There we go. One more. There we go. Take these guys out. Just kind of looking around here. So we're going to need the town square, going to need a church, going to need probably two taverns, maybe one out in this area, one out in this area, church kind of in the middle, we need a hospital eventually, all that takes lots of stone, and we need some defenses. That's something I want to think about early. Stone, 28. Let's think about defenses. Castle, wood. we got to think about wood. <laughs> so he's being built. After these roads are being built, after that's being built, we need lots of wood. All right, let's work on that. Let's clear this area out. Where is it? There it is. Set these up. We're going to have to turn off our quarries and get some labor out here. So you guys, take a break. These guys will all head off by new jobs, bring building supplies in, get these buildings going. And we'll turn that back on a sec in a second, but let's let them get more than just one job done before they come back to work over here. Let's get at least all these roads in, and hopefully the forester in. Then we'll turn them back on. Any other quick jobs to turn off? Not really. We just have the farms left as far as jobs go. All right, let's go to speed three just to Kind of advances through here a little bit. Advisors, agriculture, hmm. we're losing food. Yep, thanks for the help there. Music gets louder as you zoom in, huh? Yeah, there's our banner. Or the red lion. So, wells are all in. That one, that one, this one is not a well. That is Andrew, and he likes the sound of rain. <laughs> Hard to read that. <laughs> There's a well. We still need five wood and two stone. I wonder if wood is still holding us back. It may be. Wow. Let's chop this wood down before lightning burns it all down. Nope. Let's chop that one. Anything closer? Not really. We can get a couple of these. 
There we go. But I want to leave these for the Forester. Who's already working. Good. So Forester is in. Roads are mostly in. I'd say let's go ahead and get one more quarry back up and running. So this guy right here. Open. And we're going to need a place to store wood. Probably right there in that barren spot. So industry. Was this something I need to do before that though? Mm, another hovel. Let's do that. Town. Let's get some more uh, workers in here. All right. Get that one going. Then we will go to what? Industry. Oh, that's right. I've got to clear that before I go to the next one. Stockpile. Stockpile. Right there. We're still... We've got a chop sign over here. And we've taken all these out. All right. Whoa. 106 wood. I didn't see that. My mic's in my way. I can't see the very bottom corner down there. Gotta peek my head over the top. 112. All right. So with that... What is our next important plan? Um, right there. Defense. I do not want the Vikings to grab my master uh, farmers. So where to? That probably works right there. Let's go up. I'm thinking three. And then, what's it take to get... Ah... What's it take to get archers? It takes the castle, the throne room, which will give us gold, which means we need 50 stone. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got five more workers coming soon. Let's get... Let's shut this guy down, make sure that everyone gets a chance to move building supplies over. I'm going to open them back up again. Open this guy back up again. So with that, hopefully this... Yep, just got finished. This may or may not is not as critical since we can't staff it anyway. In fact, we can't staff it anyway. Let's cancel that. See if do we get our stone back? We do. Let's cancel these and get the throne room going. Castle. Throne room. There we are. Where to? Our. That looks pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, castle, what else? I need this guy for the ballistas. Great Hall, what are you? Eight grand meals every day here. Hmm. Must have something to do with the, uh, the value of the town, as well as the happiness. What's that noise? Oh, am I still in fast speed? Let's take that down. Who are you? You are the big one or the small one? Let me zoom out a little bit here. Get some perspective. I think that's a small one. Yeah, what are you up to? Are you just checking us out? <laughs> oh, you're happy now, huh? Well, you just wait for a moment here. You aren't going to flame me, are you? No, not yet. Yeah, I thought the military advisor would pop up here. Did you see the dragon? Sounds like Skyrim. Perhaps we should build some defenses in case it ever decides to return. Yep, that's a good idea. Are we taxing yet? We are not. Let's go back to speed two. We are filling up over here. And we got this guy built, so all of our construction is done. Good. That's going in. This guy is in. He's got food in him. Um, we're about full. Okay. And lots of more food coming. So we could build more granaries to store more, or we could start using it more. I think that's probably the plan. Town food. We cannot get into markets yet. Not enough. Uh, stone 14. Do we have you guys turn back on again? We did, right? Uh, open 3 of 4 and open 1 of 4. Okay. I'd say we need more housing. Let's go that route instead of building more granaries. So, best way to do that. Let's replace these afterward. Let's instead build two of these guys. And there. Only one. What am I lacking? I'm lacking stone. Okay. So two of them get us more workers so we can fill the quarries and we can get some defenses up. After that, we may call this an episode. We'll see. 
city says build a town square. That's a good idea. Now we have a little bit of gold. Gold. We do not have a little bit of gold. We gotta get gold coming. Hmm. And then uh, too, long, too long to store a harvest. Yep, that's fine. We knew that was coming. Gold. No, we don't have it built yet. Because we only have one builder. Let's get some more builders coming. Let's shut you down. Shut you down. <clears throat> builders are going. To open you back up. And open you back up. Alright, as soon as the construction is done. Well, only three of five. The other ones found something else to do. Ah, they went to work over here. Or at the cottage. Okay. So, after that, they'll go back to work in the quarry. We do have ten now. Ten uh, stone. So, let's grab one more cottage. We have plenty of food. I think we can keep up with that. Especially since, I think, two of these, if not three... Are in extremely fertile land. Is that what it's called? Fertile. Now I want this one. Very fertile. Almost built. Built. All right. Let's let's add two right now. We're not going to be happy doing that, but let's get a little quick shot in the arm for gold, and then we'll take it back down to one until we can uh, we can afford to throw a festival and that'll give us a little boost so this is almost built one more wood and that will be in in time to empty some of this so this harvest can dive into there otherwise they're going to start filling this back up again we in we're in next round one has left the kingdom yeah they're not very happy right now but that will just have to be fine. Five stone. What's it take for a town hall? Town square. We need ten. Okay. Once this construction is done, more workers will be out over here. What have we got over here now? Zero and two. So two are making stone and two are building a house. We must have four idols available right now. Now, hopefully the music is not uh, too loud and over the top of my voice. I did a couple of test recordings. I think I found a good balance. I had to turn the uh, the sound effects down, though. Especially the uh, uh, the festivals. They were quite uh, noisy, banging on their drums. They, uh, they, they don't observe the, uh, the noise curfew of uh, 11 p.m. in their town. So <laughs> they just kept banging all through the night. Um... Why are you not growing? Nobody's working there. Ah, that's fine, because we don't have the space for it. Though someone should be working here soon. 32 beds available now. That does not include you. So we're going to have plenty of places for, for new people to uh, to drop in and, and uh, become part of our town. I need to get defenses up. I really do. 13 stone. We're not going to get people to build the defenses if we don't get a festival going though. Gotta catch 22. Let's see if we can go for that. What was it? 25? There's 10 and 20. Okay, we're good. Let's put you in where? Ah, we need a road out here. Let's grab a pathway over here before it's gone. That well probably should not have been there. Actually, it shouldn't have. Let's demolish you. I want to road there. I think that would be better long term. Do the you, you there, put a town, actually, there we go, a well, right there? I guess so, accidentally clicked. I also have uh, castle buildings to go in here, but I guess they can go in this area. You're going to go there, and if we shoot over here, now we can put in the town square, I guess, right there. Yeah, I think that'll work. Town square... What does that do for us as far as the layout of houses? I think I want more in this direction. They can walk through the town square, right? I think so. That gives us more in this area and this area. Pretty well balanced for housing later. I like that. Yeah, you're good. So you're going to go there. That's going to give us a festival, give us some happiness, give us a bunch more people moving in. 44 should fill up, and then we can start building the... Uh, uh, the defenses. We'll see if we timed it well enough. Like, let's turn the quarry off, get this town square built as fast as we can. 
Well, nobody working there anyway. You? Four. Good. Turn you guys off. Let's get this guy built. We need 20 and 10. We have plenty of wood. Let's turn the forester off as well. And really get this thing built. One of three workers because the rest are going where? To build roads. Is that it? That's it. Alright. Uh, probably filled some of the farms in too. Still only one of three builders. Does that update? It does. It's still one of three. Alright, what am I missing? Stockpiles don't have workers. They do. Close you. And close you. There we go. Now we've got still two of three. Where else did you guys go? There we go, three of three. All right, with that, let's get all this stuff open back up again. Open up one quarry, one worker for the, uh, the uh, forester. Let's get this guy up and running, this guy up and running, hey, just in case it does it in the order that I do it, and then one more quarry going. That should get this going, which will give us a festival, which will give us more people, which will, this long chain here, give us enough workers, which will give us a defense tower right we have gold we have a festival we have castle tower goes here I think so only one we need stone that's right we used all that stone to get this guy going to get the taxes which I'm going to take back to one for a while to give us everything else we just did all right are you about to tell me that advisors that we have an attack coming. You're not. Good. Mm. You, some of our crops have been ruined. That's fine. And mm. you, peasants enjoy, would, you, would enjoy a tavern. I think right now I would too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, festival 68. Happiness, when we get into the 70s, we should see few people coming. 10 visited, but didn't stay. Okay. We should see people coming to the town. Bingo, we've got a few more there. Only three, though. Probably going to need one more festival to pull this off. Do we do it now? Hmm. Dare we? Let's do it. Let's see if it gives us a double boost here. Yeah, we're heading into the 70s now. There we go. Let's fill these houses. We've got 44 beds available. We do need the workers. Do we have enough? We need 15 stone to get the next layer up. I want to go three layers, this first one. Um, what else? What else? What else? Food? 216 or 250. We're fine on food. If we start filling this, we're going to start eating faster. So then we'll start getting close to a balanced one of the food. Right now, we've got plenty. Fire is started. Make sure you have wells. Yeah, we've got plenty of wells. In fact, these two should be in range of this, so it should be no problem. What I need is defenses. 77, 75, we're starting to uh, we hit our peak. And we've got 39 of 44. We're there. Great. Tavern? No. Defenses. I wish I could pull away from that town square and back away from the sound. Just like zooming in and out increases the music. So that's something to consider. Distance from the town square equals volume of the sounds. Anyway, blocks, or uh, what do we call that? Castle... Castle block, that's what it's called. Need, yep, 15 to give us our third one. And then what does it take to give us the archer tower? 20 gold and 5 stone. 19 gold right now, just enough to get us going. 5 stone, we have enough. Archer tower, right there. Now, let's get this thing built. Hate to do that. Well, we can do this. Let's turn you off for a moment. And idle workers. We do have idle workers. Now yeah, turn you back on again. Okay, so we should be still 0 of 5. Do we have... I see Archer Tower. doesn't show me what the other ones are requiring. Whether that's 5 for each layer or 5 for the project in general. That's probably it. So, six idle workers, plenty of stone. Are we maxed out on our quarries? We are. Oh, that's good. Farms, 168. We're filling the houses. We're using the food. Probably time to pop in a couple more. 
but let's make sure this happens and let's think about that second archer tower where else probably out in this area like right here what's our radius on this that's pretty good i want the archer towers to be able to reach each other so they can defend each other so here i know we've got an attack coming soon if i could slow this down to one speed or even pause i want to really think this through where else to put another archer tower we're eventually going to want one over here then we're going to want one over here with this one right there they can defend each other and that might be close enough to be able to defend something out over here let's do that let's turn you back on well let's go ahead and drop the first one in so we can get the the workers on their way all right back to speed two and can i all right soon we're going to be able to put a second one let's get two archer towers going so they can defend each other as well as defend the uh uh, the peasants. See if we can get through this first attack and not lose anybody. That would be nice. That should give us a boost also to happiness. Because you lose happiness when they are terrified because you did a poor job of defending them. I think you get a bonus if you do a good job of defending them. You, there, 10 more builds us the next one. And if I go to 4, I can get far enough to get into here for a radius. That might be worth waiting for. Boy, I wish I could build these faster. Did we put a third one in? I think we do. Town, industry. Quarry, cannot. I need another road. That seems to be the distance, so one more road right there would do it. Town, road, just like that. With that, industry, quarry, yep, I'm there. All right, three, rock, three quarries around the same rock. Yeah, now you can't put three foresters around the same tree. Forestry's doing pretty good, though. I don't think I need to deal with that, if, as far as putting a second forester in. This guy, you know, let's set him up to accept only stone. That seems a little bit better. For some reason, we're bringing all of the, the, uh, the, the lumber to this one. I wonder why that is. You think this would be the place to drop it? Because of the tree cutting, we can do it over here? don't know. Maybe that, all that dumped into here, and it's been here the whole time, and all these projects they've been grabbing out of here. That could be. And that could be why we're running so slow. Does it tell me how much room I've got? It does not. It is possible that we're just maxed out here. Interesting. Do I put a second one in? I could. Just to make sure. Let's put one right here. Industry stockpile right there six idle people how long am i going to run this one i'm thinking i'm closing in on that hour aren't i like 45 minutes or so huh i was kind of hoping i'd see a viking attack before i call this one done maybe that's how i'll open the next one up what else needs to be touched on here before I jump out of here? Uh, we're going to go to four layers. I believe we're looking at two there. So let's at least set this. One, two, and not that one. You dismantle and castle archer tower right there. So that is set for next time. We've got plenty of stone being produced. I think we're going to call this one done. I think it's a good, safe spot. We'll probably start off with a Viking attack next time. Maybe another dragon. And we'll see how it goes. So, thanks guys for watching. Um, if you do want to dive into this beta, it is available. So, the alpha was not, unless you caught their uh, slacker backer uh, campaign, their second round. But if you go over to uh, fig.co.co and look up kingdoms and castles you can still get in on the beta and they'll send you a key for either steam or gog gog so you get two different platforms to uh, to use it on otherwise kingdoms and castles.com i believe it is uh well you'll find in the notes underneath the video but i think it was a dot com um take a look at the at the information about the game there um vapa.com or vapa gaming 
<laughs> the YouTube channel has uh, quite a long series on this one prior to me. So if you want to see more of this uh, game, you can peek at, peek at his series. Otherwise, I'm going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.